Good morning! Hello! Howdy, Lord Mage. Howdy, Marty. Hello there, General Kenobi. <laughs> General Kenobi. I've been trained in your Jedi arts by Count Dooku. What? What is that from? Welcome, welcome. Sorry, guys. I I have not... I was not on yesterday. I got a lot of editing done, though, for, for the YouTube channel. Um, I was able to get... Basically, all of Trolls in the Sky is completely edited, and everything is completely edited for where we're at currently in, in Trolls in the Sky second chapter. So, I got, I got just a ton of editing done yesterday, and I was just filling in, like, I was... I was trying to edit over the weekend and I just didn't get everything completed yet. So I was like, okay, I need to focus and just like <laughs> spend yesterday just editing um, so that we can come on today and just already have like, I'm already done now with everything. So I now I can just play the game and not have to, you know, worry about editing stuff that I've already played through like way in the future kind of thing. Um, but I've also, I don't have my piano here right now. Because I moved it to a separate room, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it back in here eventually. But uh, I've been learning how to play Hamel. Um, I only got like the first, I don't even know, like the first thirty seconds down of the song. But like after the first thirty seconds of Hamel, it just comes to like a whole new level of difficult when it comes to playing that song. Sorry for being negative, and is that a Star Wars reference? Is it a Star Wars reference? Because then I really wouldn't know what it would 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 have been. Well, yeah, it was a meme. When someone says hello there, and a girl or boy says General Kenobi back at you, you know that they're the special one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I had no idea. I'm, I'm like, I know nothing about Star Wars, if that's the case. Um, so what, what, what did I do? I think last stream I got this. Yeah, the warrior's attack and de defense will become water-based. Yeah, I got this. Last... Last stream. Um, I think what we were doing is we were currently investigating the... Or exploring the Saffro Tower. Um... Yeah, we were exploring the Saffro Tower because we got to go take the photo and we wanted to have... Uh, Dorothy with us to do the Saffro Tower. And then we also were doing the Sunday School Lecturer. Um, yeah, Sister Frida. Yeah, because this quest, I believe, is on a very, very, very short time, time frame. So we need to do it like now. And then this was the things that we were waiting to do. Because on the board, it says that we have a long time to wait. And I really don't want to try to do this stuff with having um, Dorothy with us. It just makes that stuff way more hard. I'm, I'm okay exploring the Sappho Tower with Dorothy, but I don't really want to do everything else with Dorothy still on the team. It just makes it a little annoying. But okay, let's go back to the Sappho Tower and see what we can do. Even though I, I know there's going to be more chests I need to fight in the Sappho Tower, that I actually have zero clue how to fight now because since it's been about three days, I think it's been three days since we last played. I actually um, don't really remember all that much on, on how to beat the chest. I just remember that there's a palm that can like one shot Dorothy. And then there's like the, the big dudes that single target, but they don't really do that much damage to us. I remember that, but they can two shot Dorothy. And then I remember there was the palms that can, they can also like cast in like an AOE uh, ice spell as well, if I'm correct. Welcome back, Olivier. I see your struggles over. Dude, Olivier's amazing. Like, yeah, he has lower health, but his EP is pretty good. Like, I don't even have his Ormond completely leveled up right now, and his EP is pretty much on par with Estelle's right now. And his Ormond's like the best Ormond in the game. Like, one, two, three, like, it's all connected. Just all in one. It's a, it's absolutely incredible. Yeah, absolutely incredible. Tutter Chest shouldn't be talking, but I love it. They shouldn't be, but, you know, this is... Trails in the Sky. Oh, gosh, I don't remember how we explored this place. Oh, no. I know I've already beaten that thing, though. I fought that thing before, and I beat it. 
And I believe this is all connected up here. Wait, is it connected? Oh my gosh, I don't remember. Yeah, it is all connected up here. Wait, did I go... Was this where I fought the chest? No. What did, what did I do? Where did I fight that chest at? See, I don't remember where I fought the chest at. I think it was right here, though. Let's just make sure that we do lots of saves. No, I got both of these chests already. Was it this way? I went down this way, and then there was a chest, like, right over here. Yeah, this was the chest I beat. There's also a way down right there that I'm not really quite sure what this is even for. Oh, I beat, I've beaten that thing, too. I'm gonna go fight this thing. Oh, God, it attacked me. That's not right. I was hoping I could get the, you know, the drop on it, but then it just attacked me. Um, weak against anything besides water. Okay. It doesn't help me, but okay. Fireball EX should just wreck it. I like how we're just gonna, like, Hell Spear or, or, or Hell's Gate them to death. GG. No, I think I got probably could have just killed that themselves. I should check what they drop. Oh, yeah, Juicy Bone, which I've already have. Inside the empty chest is carved. Olivier is handsome. You briefly wonder if he put that there himself. That's right. That, that was that chest. I actually really want to reload. Because I don't think I even need to do that fight. And I would prefer to have my um, items back anyways. So if I remember correctly, you can go down this way. And then this was over there. Yeah, this was like over here. And then there was that right there. Okay, cool. And if we go up this way, there's a dead end past that chest. Okay, and I went this way already, which means the only ways that we have to go right now is up, right? That's like the only ways we have to go is up. We have this way up and the other way up. So let's just go both ways up. Oh no, there's a chest. <laughs> like right in front of us the moment we step up here. We're on the fifth floor though. I think the sixth floor is the top. Oh, that was easy. As you approach, the chest burst open on its own. Unfortunately, there's nothing inside. That's not true. I didn't do that. Uh, a woman only blouse. Huh. So she has like hard loafers and this blouse now. School uniform popular for its large buttons. Very flexible. Agility plus five. ADF plus five. This is crazy. Why is the gear like this in this game? I'm so confused. You know, if the agility is going up by this much and you can double agility with Sylvan Guard, is Sylvan Guard actually better than it was initially in the game? Because I can I can get my agility up to 32 right now if I buff up agility. That's crazy. Did you open me already? Is what it would say. Meow. More than two members at least. Yeah, I got Olivier. But having like... An escort's like a negative member, right? Escorts are definitely negative members. Okay, what's up here? Um, there's that chest. There's this chest. Huh? Found a scrap of paper with a meatballs recipe written on it. Learn perilous meatball. No way. This chest is empty. You vaguely remember digging through it and pillaging everything it had. You can't remember when. Just a second ago. Are you telling me right now that we just got a new recipe for a new thing that we throw at people? 600 strength? Red pepper, black pepper, kibble salt, marble steak. I think this is all stuff you can buy. Well, the leathery tail and the beast flesh you can't buy, but everything else you can. Wow. That's not bad. Actually. 600 strength? How much How much strength do we have right now on our characters? 402, 378. Is this going to keep on happening with food in this game? Where we just are going to get like a bunch of food that's just better than our... That like... It's just going to be one step ahead of how much damage we can actually do? That's wild if that's the case. Especially because, like, items are, um, what's it called? Items, they don't take a turn, right? 
or they don't take a, they don't they don't delay you as much on your turns. Okay, so where am I supposed to go? I am a little bit confused. Because I feel like I've gone every direction that I can go right now. Yeah, there's like this up here. I'm going to save right now before I go into this room. Last time I went into this room, they wrecked me. But I remember there was this over here. Oh, no! Yeah, here we go again. I, well, I, I can just save. I mean, I can just load before I got hit there. But, like... I really am confused on where we need to go right now. Indeed, sadness. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have no idea. Because there's this right here. Like... There's this over here. The treasure is on strike until further notice. Like, what is this? There's nothing here as well. Nothing there. If I go this way, we get a chest right there that we've already gotten. I go this way, we get this chest over here that I've already gotten, but there's nothing- Oh my gosh. Holy shit, that's a lot of shining palms. Now nah, we're running. I don't need the shining palm. At least Tara enjoys suffering. I don't know if I enjoy this kind of suffering. This kind of suffering is a little bit annoying. This is just being lost at this point in the game, right? This isn't real suffering. This is I don't know where I need to go. Is it this way I need to go? No, that's, that's the way back down. Wait, so I went left first time. So, oh, I go right. Okay, I think I found out where I need to go. Oh my gosh, I think I found it. Oh, that took forever to find this. So this is on the opposite side of the other one. Um, is it- wait, what, what floor am I at right now then? I'm on floor four? So there is one more floor up. Oh, there's two ways to go up here. There's a fifth, fifth floor this way and there's a fifth floor the other way. I'm gonna try the other way first. But I wonder if one of these ways is like a dead end, like right here. I feel like one of these ways is gonna be a dead- yep, I knew it. Um, let's use some healing on her. Yeah, Miz, the room with the flying fish should have space to go. Welcome. How are you doing today? A 2k damage per hit on the enemy encounters, at least. Pearl earring! Okay, that's awesome. Inside the chest is the key to its heart. That was, that was cute. Okay. So this is Prevent Seal. I think I have a Pearl Earring actually on. Yeah, I have it on a got right now. I don't really need to put anything on Olivier for that. Alrighty. So then we gotta head back this way. And then there's that other chest that we saw up this way. So I don't know if this is going to be an enemy chest. I'm like saving before every single chest. We don't have any CP though. So if we do find an enemy chest, it might be a little bit harder. Oh, you asked Yami? Huh? I'm doing okay. I guess somewhat mixed. Oh no. Yeah. I was talking to Yami. I mean, I, I said howdy when I, when, when I first got onto the stream. You're playing the Sword of the Ancient God Kings. Just kidding. It's empty. If only I could obtain the Sword of the Ancient God King. Wow! It's weaker than the Laundry Po. Is Yami like for Yu-Gi-Oh? 
Is that supposed to be like a Yu-Gi-Oh reference? You guessed that right? Hey! I mean, I played a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh growing up. Like, it was like my main card game. It was like my first card game that I was really into, actually. Okay, there's that thing. Um, there's that way. That's the way up. There's another chest here, though. This chest most definitely is an enemy chest. I, I don't see any way this is not an enemy chest. I have not had enough enemy chests at this point. And I'm on the fifth floor, so I'm pretty sure the other way it's the way up, and then we, we're gonna be out of here. What? There's not- there's only one enemy chest in this entire place? No way. Well, it's been swell. See you again on New Game Plus. That's awesome! I thought- I didn't- I thought there would be more, um, things here. 80 plus 30? Why can't she wear it? Why, 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 why can't she wear it? Why can't she wear this? Estelle, become a man, please. Become a man. Thank you. I'm upset. I guess I can put it on Olivier. Like, Olivier does have way more ATS. His, his health gate's gonna blow people up, though. Cause he has, he has range one already. So he's gonna have such a strong Hellgate now. Who can wear the boots for a god? Yeah, but like, a god's ATS is just naturally lower. So I just wish I could put it on Estelle, so then her her damage was just even higher. But the agility of three sucks. Estelle's gonna avoid everything. God, that's a nice pair of boots. Such a nice pair of boots. Um, yeah, ZX is from Mega Man ZX. I'm also a Yu-Gi-Oh fan. Yeah, there are monsters in there. There is a route to the other side of those central rooms. If I'm correct, you can wear that boots for, for. I think I've already done it. I've already went that way. It is for art attack only, and a got strong point is normal and crap. Yeah, I know. I wasn't a fan of cars. There was a PlayStation 2 Yu Gi Oh! I tried playing, but had no idea how to play. Yu Gi Oh! is a little bit degenerate now, though. Like, uh, it used to be much, much better, in my opinion. Like, classic Yu Gi Oh! Nowadays, it's just like reading paragraphs per card of text and having things that can just do crazy combos on, on a single turn. Um, there still is a lot of like, you know, complexity behind like deck theory crafting and whatnot. And it's, you know, it's still like a legitimate card game because of the, they ban a lot of cards, but it's a, it's a little bit much how, how the game evolved. Whoa. It really is active, just like we heard. Ah, but it is possessed of such a mythic light. Heh, <laughs> I can feel the wisdom of the ancients washing over me. So if like, if I came there earlier, Olivier and Dorothy wouldn't be with me, so they wouldn't even be saying anything. Yeah, it's so pretty. How are you two not the least bit freaked out about this? Oh, whatever. Let's get the picture taken and get out of here. Let's... I'd like to hang around here as little as possible. Let's see. Where should I take it from? Not you. Take a picture. Use the orbital camera. Move to where you wish to take a picture from. Then select the orbital camera from the items tab in the camp menu. Wait. Can't, can't, can't Dorothy take the picture? Hold up. Let me save real quick. I want Dorothy to take the picture though, right? I mean, they said no, no, no fancy camera shots. Um, as a kid, it was already a headache. It, it wasn't that bad though. Like back then, Yu-Gi-Oh cards didn't even have text on them.
ask Dorothy to do it to get additional reward. Yeah, I'm just, maybe I need to use the camera and then it will let, let me ask Dorothy to do it. All right, this is a bit too close. I need to back off a bit. Okay. A bit too close. I need to back, uh, even back further? What? Um, that seems okay, I guess. Take a picture here. No! All right, I made up my mind. I'll take it. No! No! Oh my gosh. Okay. Huh? Are you giving up? What's wrong? Not really. I just realized I don't need to take the picture. It may just be a coincidence, but we do have a pro of sorts anyways with us. Good. Oh, I see. Do you mind? If I ask Dorothy, I mean. Nah, go ahead. If you don't think you can do it, no shame in asking. Ask Dorothy. So Dorothy, would you mind taking the picture? I like how they give you an option to take it yourself. Oh my gosh. That'd been wild. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. I'll give it all my... I'll give it my all and stuff. Hi, thanks. Here's the camera. Okay. Okay, here we go. I like how Dorothy does this little, like, back and forth thing. Uh, it's got a scary face. Well, say cheese. Thanks for waiting. I got some really angry, sullen, manly pictures. Um, I see. Good job, Dorothy. Manly pictures. Still took the orbital camera back. Thanks. Looks like we're done, then. Alright, let's get back to town, then. Ain't no point in sticking around this old wreck. We're going back already. Yeah, that was the plan. There a problem, Estelle? Not really a problem, I guess. It's just... We came all this way, so heading straight back would be a waste, don't you think? Why would it be? And got an itch to explore the tower? Aw, oh, screw it. If you want to poke around, I'm in. We've already done, done it. We've already done the tower. So we should just head back, right? Well, no, we shouldn't. Setting up this job's got to come first, sadly. Afraid that's how it works. Let's get back to town. Let us away, then. Yeah. Okay, yeah, they're gonna teleport us. Cool. That makes it a lot easier on me. I was, uh, not a Yu-Gi-Oh kid, though, so I didn't know. We're a bit over the moon. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense if you weren't a Yu-Gi-Oh kid. I mean, I, w I was watching the TV shows, I was playing the card game. I was stealing cars from other students. I was bad. I was real bad, though. Okay. Uh, wait. Who who was... Oh, yeah, it was the guy at the hotel that asked me to do it. That's right. I gotta go give it to him. Just want to say there's a fan voice patch for PC port. Don't know if you're fancy with the voice, though. Um... You mean, like, an English voice patch? Hey guys, welcome back. Did you take the photo? Sure did. But first, let me return your camera. Thanks. And now it's off we go. Or what? Where are we going? The Orbal Factory, of course. We've got to develop the photo quartz if we want to see the picture. Aha, true. I'm right behind you. Phew, all done here. Yeah, thanks. Now then, how'd the photo turn out? Uh, well, this is a shock. It's good enough to look like it came from a pro. Actually, it's better than most professional work. Wow! Because this Dorothy took it. Is it that well done? Here, take a look. Oh, I guess you would also have a different picture here, too, if you weren't taking it, or Dorothy didn't take it. Yo, she got the sunlight in it! It's all glowing? Oh my god, Dorothy, good job. Yeah, you really match the focus on panorama mode, which is really difficult. Man, the way it captures the light is just perfect! You can tell just by looking at this that this device has a long history. Of course, a photo this good is plenty for research purposes, but it almost feels like a waste to use it for that. Oh, really? Pretty complex, huh? Hehe, <laughs> it's incredible! Well then, our job's done. Right. Thank you all so much for all you've done. Climbing all the way up that tower must have been exhausting. 
Well, it was kind of rough, but it's all part of the job. Don't worry about it. Ha ha ha, thanks. Hearing you say that makes me feel better. All right, here, it's not much, but please take this. Moon glasses. It's a piece of equipment I picked up with research funds for this expedition. I'm sure it'll be useful if you have to venture into dangerous places. Ha <laughs> thanks. Since you're offering, we'll accept. Thanks, appreciate it. No, no, it's not all that. Anyway, if you'll pardon me, thanks again for your work. Good luck with your investigation. I'm kind of curious too, honestly. <laughs> Dude, I don't, I don't like, honestly, anyone investigating the Tretasilic towers at this point, I just don't trust them anymore after Alba. This Santos guy is going to end up being one of the Ouroboros people, I swear. It's going to be quite the piece of homework, certainly. Well, I would do my best to live up to your expectations. Well, see you guys later. Yeah, later. He's, he's going to go return this photo to, like, Alba right now, or, or Wiseman, or whatever the guy's actual name is. That's what he's about to go do. I just don't trust him. I just, I can't. I can't trust nobody in this game. I can't trust Joshua. I can't trust him. The glasses from the central factory that, for some utterly mysterious reason, also block poison. It blocks blind and poison? Yo, I gotta put this on. I gotta put this on right there. What? Blind and poison. That's good, actually. That's really good. Cool. Yeah, I like I like the equipment I have on now. Um, yes, yeah, save here. Uh, they're from the official PSP version. I might opinion, to make the battle a lot more lively. It's not much, but it's honestly, it's honest work. <laughs> Imagine not even trusting her so. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I've heard about the, the evil version versus Yami, and people have told me about the patch before. Like, a lot of people. A lot of people have told me. I've been, I've been so many comments on my, like, my shorts and my videos saying, like, you should play in Japanese! You should play in Japanese! But, um... Honestly, I have like, uh, when it comes to like live streaming and whatnot, I just prefer to play, uh, or I just prefer to read it out, especially because, like, I would still be reading all of the text regardless of there being Japanese voices, just because when people are, um, what's it called, like watching the stream, sometimes they're not like actively watching in the moment, They'll, they can be like, I don't know, making food or something else and just listening in. And if there's like Japanese voices and they don't know Japanese, then it's just something where it's like, it can get really confusing. And then it can be, oh my gosh, it'd be even confusing for me to be reading while the Japanese voices are also playing. So it's something like, if I wasn't streaming, I probably would do it. But uh, since I am streaming, I, I don't uh, really want to. Okay, which way are we going now? Which way are we going now? We gotta go to the, the school, right? No, we gotta go to Sunday school first. We're going to Sunday school first, and then we'll do the rest of the stuff. I can- I think I also have all the ingredients I need. So I can also stop by here as well. We request the kind bracer to come serve as a Sunday school lecturer. You'll be asked to explain to the children about the duties and mission of a bracer. Persons with time, please come urgently to the Ruan Chapel. Sister Frida will explain the details of the job. Oh, so I gotta go to the Ruan Chapel, okay. I was about to head all the way to, uh... Minoria or whatever. Huh? 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 What? Oh no, I'm about to be attacked by children. Wait, I gotta talk to her, right? Sister Frida? Oh my. Are you here because you saw my request? Yes ma'am, sure did. It's pretty urgent, right? Yes, today... I'd like to ask you to act as a guest teacher at Sunday school. How about it? Are you available? Uh, yeah, let's hear an explanation for the job. Yeah, I can do it. I'm not super confident, but I'll give it my best shot. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I'd asked a bracer named Karna to be the guest lecturer, but she suddenly had to leave on guild business. It put the church in a fix, and I was very disheartened. Yeah, we haven't seen Karna at all since we've been here. I see, so that's why it's so sudden. So what should I do? First, come into the side room. I'll explain what I'd like for the class there. 
I bet I bet we're gonna be talking, and if we make wrong decisions, we're gonna get less BP. Like, we have to remember, we're talking to children. I see. Okay, yeah, I think I get the gist. Start with an exclamation of the guild, move on to an overview of a bracer's job. And then, last but not least, answer the kids' questions correctly? Right. Yes, that would be plenty. If you'll excuse me, I'll be going back to class. I'll call you momentarily, so please, wait here until then. Okay, exclamation of the guild. Then talk about the duties of a bracer and then answer the questions strategically. Still, truly the world is a strange place. Oh, for once we agree. I was just thinking that myself. Hmm, what's up? Something on my face? No, but not even I could have predicted this. To think the day would come when Estelle would take this out al the altar. Sure is a big surprise, isn't it? Yeah, seriously. This one's more uh, the being taught type than the teaching type. <laughs> Well, that's sure not nice to say, I think. True, I'm not super confident, but I should be fine teaching some kids. That's nice and all, but whatever. I'm going to nap until it's over. What are you going to do, Olivier? Well, while I have a little to offer, you have my full attention and support. The class should be well visible from the second floor here, so I'd like to watch from there. Oh, nice idea. I should take tons of pictures. Please don't screw anything up, you two. Oh, this is going to go bad. Olivier's is gonna- I mean, no, no, Agatha's gonna take a nap. Now then, everyone, we're going to have a guest teacher for the remainder of the class. They've taken time out of their busy schedule to come speak to us, so don't be rude, okay? Okay! Oh no. I'm gonna fuck this up. Alright, come on out. Hey kids! How's it going? Miss, who are you? Uh, I, I, I was just about to introduce myself. Give me a sec. <clears throat> Alright. Well, hello. I'm Estelle Bright. I'm still pretty new to the job, but I'm what we call a bracer. What? You're a bracer? No way, that's so cool. How old are you, miss? Now, now, we'll have time for questions after. First, let's have our guests review what we've already gone over. You wouldn't mind, Miss Estelle. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, is everyone ready? Let's go over today's class real quick. Oh, okay, 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 all right. Class begin about all bracer activities. Choose the correct answer and guide this special class to success. I like how the music changed. First, let's talk about my job as a bracer. So a bracer is a specialist at investigation and combat. And our main duty as bracers is... Oh no. Security of nation's borders and maintaining public order. Protection of the peace and citizenry of local regions. Discovery and sealing of ruined relics. I think it's this one. Th this is more like the military. Protection of the... Protection of the peace and citizenry of local regions. The protection of the peace and citizenry of local regions. We don't just slay monsters and prevent crimes either. Bracers protect goods in transit and even look for lost items. We help in a variety of ways. All right, that was perfect. Oh, she's talking to herself. Bracers are broadly divided into two groups, senior bracers and junior bracers. Of those, junior bracers are what you might call trainees. And, by successfully completing missions and training hard, they eventually earn a promotion to become full bracers. But even once you become a full bracer, you're further divided up into different classes. We call these ranks and each rank is assigned in accordance to your experience and, su and success. Five ranks from basic to high! Nine ranks from class nine to class one. I think it's class nine to class one, right? Nah, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, music in this game is a real treat. Dude, the music in this game is on another level. The music in this game is on another level. It's seven ranks from G to A. I, I know, I know. First chapter music wasn't as good though, Lord Mage. I will say that. Like, it was good, but this... The, the second chapter music is much better. They, like, leveled up. There are seven ranks from G to A. 
These are the only formal ranks, and when a bracer is close to being promoted, a plus is added to said rank. Furthermore, there's also an S rank. Uh, no! Estelle, you're not supposed to talk about S rank! But it's kind of an unofficial honorary rank given to persons who have performed exceptional deeds. So publicly, A rank bracers are the highest bracers in the guild. Yes, I'm killing this. I thought S rank wasn't supposed to be known, but okay. Alright, let's talk about the organization that manages bracers, the Bracer Guild. I think you learned this in class, but the guild operates not just in the liberal kingdom, but all over. This global organization was established about the same time as the Orbit Revolution, which was... <laughs> I think it was 10 years ago. Um, I prefer third music, honestly. I have, I'm not on, I'm not on third yet, though. I'm not on third yet, though. I like that she's praising herself. 50, don't, don't give me the answer. I don't think it's 50, but don't, but, but, but don't give me the answer. I think it was 10 years ago, because 10 years ago was when the war was, and the only thing that, uh, like, allowed them, them to win was their orbital technology. So I think the orbital evolution was 10 years ago. I think. But if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm about to be wrong. Roughly 10 years ago. Oh no! No! Oh, I screwed up. Wait, 10 years ago was the 100 days war, wasn't it? Curse my soft brain. Ah, oh, whatever. So next, let's talk about the guild's relationship with foreign countries. At the moment, the guild has branches across the entire continent, but the reason the guild has been able to expand to this level is because it's a non-governmental organization with no ties to a specific nation. Oh, her face looks different now. But even within its practical activities, the guild has a lot to think about. For example, they have to keep promises to prevent them from ending up opposed to nations. The most famous promise related to that is... What's the most important agreement the guild has to keep with the nations it works in? Non-combat agreement with national armies? Immunity for nobility and royalty? That's not true. Non-interference with state powers, I think is what it is. The agreement of non-interference with state powers. In other words, no sticking our noses in state affairs or systems. Problems within the national borders are ultimately something for that country's people to think about. Commenting on or interfering with this kind of thing is against international rules. Yes, nailed it. Okay, I might have lost a little bit of BP, but I think I, overall I'm doing okay. Guild uses lots of methods like this to separate its duties from a nation's. Of course, not everything is always solved so simply according to the code, so... Sometimes in emergencies, you can end up in situations that are contradictory to the code. But in times like that, bracers are asked to put our basic principles above all else. In other words, we bracers in all situations should prioritize the decisions of the government, prioritize the safety of civ civilians, prioritize cooperation with the army, safety of civilians, prioritize the safety of civilians. If you think about this first and foremost, then you will naturally be guided to the correct action. Well, sometimes when you try taking action, you'll end up with a whole bunch of other problems. But overcoming stuff like that is a part of the job, too. Yeah, that's a good summary. And that pretty much sums it up. How was it? Did everyone understand? That ends the first half of the class. Very impressive, Estelle. You're performing wonderfully as a teacher. Such fearlessness. Such verve. All right, it's time you've all been waiting for. Oh no, you've got anything you want to ask our guest? Go ahead and raise your hand. I'm gonna screw up this part. Please, Miss Estelle, carry on. Sure thing, leave it to me. I'm gonna screw this part up. This is the ultimate capture to verify yourself as a bracer. Oh no, who's ready to get their questions answered? I'm about to be kicked out of the bracer. I'm about to go back to junior bracer. Q&A time, any question goes. It's like the correct answer and overcome any risky or questionable questions. Oh, oh, pick me, pick me. So I think there's going to be four questions, one for each kid. Wow, you've sure got a lot of energy. What's your question? Um, um, 
When can you become a bracer? What age can you become a bracer? Well, to become a bracer, you first need to become a junior bracer. You can, you can become one if you pass the test, but to take the test... Oh no, I don't even know. I think it's 16. Because they were 16, but I don't know if there's an age restriction in place. Are there any bracers that I know that are super, super young? I know it's not 18. That's automatically no. All the bracers I know are older. There's not one bracer that I know of that is young. And Joshua and Estelle were both 16. I think it's 16. You're required to be 16 or older. Of course, even if you pass the exam, you don't instantly become one. For a while, you'll receive training under the guidance of an older bracer. Once you've gained enough experience there, you finally become a junior bracer. Perfect answer. Whoo! I did it! Okay, so you gotta be 16. Okay, got it. Thanks, miss. I don't know if they actually explained that. I don't know if they've actually explained that. Bones Rosh was when they were young, aren't they? Well, 16 is young. Yeah, 16 is young, but I kind of like... I mean, you, you can become um, a volunteer firefighter at 16 in a lot of municipalities. So, like, it kind of makes sense. Or, or you can, like, join, like, different firefighter schools and stuff at 16. I mean, I guess, like, you can't... I mean, can you join, like, a... Is there any, like... Bracers are more like cops in a lot of ways, but like I guess it kind of makes sense that you can do it at 16. It doesn't, it's not like too far of a stretch. What is too far of a stretch is Joshua being nine years old and being an assassin and killing a bunch of people for two years until he's 11. That, that's, that's a stretch. Excuse me, teacher, may I ask a question? Fire away. You gotta beat up monsters no matter what. Some of them are really cute. That's a good question. How to respond to monsters is tough, but in general, judge based on appearance. Oh, that's kind of racist. Or that's kind of specious. Yeah, specious. That's not a stretch. That's anime plot power true. That is anime plot power. Defeat them, obviously. Prioritize client's intent. I was prioritize client's intent. You prioritize the client's intent. There's no absolute right answer when dealing with monsters. It really depends on the situation. If the client doesn't demand their extermination, we may sometimes let them go. It was kind of a tricky question, but it looks like I was able to answer perfectly. Phew. Oh, okay. May I ask a question too? Sure, go for it. I'm answering- I'm- 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 I'm owning these questions. There was a case a while back where the Sky Bandits attacked an airliner. Oh, I was part of that case. Was it the Royal Army who arrested the Sky Bandits then, or was it Bracers? You mean the disappearance of the Lindy? The ones who finally arrested the Sky Bandits were... The Royal Army Forces, the Royal Guard Troops. I don't remember Schwarz being there. We didn't meet Schwarz until later. We didn't meet Schwarz until we actually came to Ruan, right? Yeah, our first time meeting Swars was when we came to Ruan, and that's the Royal Guard. So the Royal Army... Yeah, and, uh... Who is it called? Um... That one military dude. I don't remember his name right now. I don't know if the Royal Army and the Royal... I thought it was just called the army, but maybe they're called the Royal Army. Who arrested the Kapua gang? Bracers did not arrest the Kapua gang. It was the army that arrested them. The Royal Army forces. In the final entry mission, the Bracers and the Royal Army worked together using a pincer move to count corner them. When the Sky Bandits tried to flee, the Royal Army caught and arrested them. In other words, the Bracers and the Royal Army cooperated to flush them out. Alright, no problems here. Okay, so the Royal Army and the Bracers worked together. That's so cool. 
Hmm. Can I ask something? Sure, go ahead. I'm actually studying for entrance exams and just forgot this, but... Which of the three principles in the code is the protective duty to civilians? Oh, gosh. Wait, what are you doing this to me, Antonio? You haven't seen Hunter x Hunter? I've watched a little bit of Hunter x Hunter. That's actually my, one of my sister's favorite animes. Literally an eight-year-old assassin. Enemy meter, after all. They don't need to make sense if they are entertaining. I think it's army. Guard job is to guard places, right? I guess I, that's also a way to interpret it. How the heck am I supposed to remember something like that? Wait a second. The protective duty is civilian's principle. Or, um, that is... Nah, bro, what the hell? Dude, right? Oh, hey, McCore, welcome. Yo, time to Google game it. Yo, this is, I could never know this answer. There's no way I could know this answer. Okay, wait, okay. I'm not looking. I'm just, I'm just clicking down and then I'm gonna guess. I'm just gonna guess on a random one. Okay, whatever it lands is what, is what I'm going with. Guild Principle 3, I think. Huh, was it? Oh, no! I thought the third principle was non-interference with nations. Oh, no! Oh, really? I'm sorry, I already knew the answer. The protective duty to civilians is the second principle. Well, I'm sure glad you know. Oh, this is so embarrassing. What was that question? So no more questions. Okay, I've got a question then. I'll go ahead then. Um, um, so it doesn't have much to do with the class, but when the mayor was arrested, the queen's airship came, right? How big was the airship? <laughs> Why are you asking this? I knew there'd be one. There's always one with some weirdo question that has nothing to do with anything. By the queen's airship, do you mean the aerosol? Yeah, that, that. Looked real big, but I wonder how big it really was. The air so size. I think I've read about that in a book before. Did we read about that in a book? I'm just gonna go with the biggest answer. I don't know even what an ARG is. I don't even know what an ARG is, but I know it's a big ship, so let's just go with the biggest answer. I think it had an overall length of 42 ARG, if I remember right. That might not be exactly precise, but it should be close. Wow, that's huge. Thanks, Mrs. Estelle. Any more questions, children? If not, then I believe that's all for our... So I screwed up on one question in the beginning and one question on the second half. Not that I believe that's all for our guest speaker today. Everyone say thank you to Mrs. Estelle. Bye, kids. Gosh, I tried. There's no way I would have answered that principal question right, though. I just, I just made the best guess I could. Thank you for your time. I know you're quite busy. The children were overjoyed. Haha, <laughs> thanks. I was pretty nervous before I did it. But if they had fun, then it was worth it. I do apologize for cutting things short, but I have more classes if you'll pardon me. Should the chance come again, I would love to have you back for another talk. Sure thing. I've tried. Seems you manage things just fine. Phew, somehow. No need to be so humble. I witnessed your performance. You were a fantastic teacher. Aw, oh, come on, really? Still, it made me think about just how much I don't know. Every time they asked for details, I started panicking. You just gotta keep working at it, that's all. No one's gonna wait, want anything from a bracelet that doesn't even know the code. Yeah, I'll keep working at it, I promise. Okay, we finished that quest, though. I was wondering where were you? A still awesome teacher, though. I probably wouldn't mind letting me oh my god uh okay let me read something is there anywhere here oh my gosh i never read this there's the three principles right there in your book all 
I wonder if the three principal R's are in the other book, too. My junior bracer book. I'll always have this F. I completed all the quests. And then I have this F. Yeah, there's nothing here about the... There's only on the bracer notebook that has them. Though it would be better if it was Joshua letting her teach. No, Joshua would be perfect. Joshua is too good. Yeah, Joshua would, would crush the answers too well. Quest expired. Yeah, it was the only quest I never finished in the game. In the first game. But I still hit the max rank even though I didn't finish it. So I think it was okay. Let's turn these in. One plus two. I'm guessing the plus two was because I had Dorothy take the picture. Two plus zero, because I didn't get all the answers right. Oh, well, whatever. Aw. Oh, I tried. I'm not going to restart or save just to get all the answers right. I got I to gotta act like I'm actually playing the game, you know? Uh, let's go check for the... Uh, let's go to Minoria, I guess, and we can see if we can turn in the ingredients, because I think I already have all of the ingredients for the ingredient quest. I hate this one right here. Uh, which way do I gotta go? Yeah, I gotta keep going this way. Because I think I needed six unique ingredients for this location that drops, and I think I have six. I'm not 100% sure if I have six, but I think I do. I oh, know the game books tell you, the, dude. The game book tells you a lot, actually. Like, it tells you so much, and especially because I don't like getting, I don't like looking for information outside of the game. I like discovering it for myself inside of the game. Um, so I kind, I kind of like how the book gives you quite, a, quite a bit of information about like all the different or quartz types and and magic and stuff. So I can, you know, theory craft myself and not have to. Rely too much on outside sources. The only thing I wish that it gave you is how it's calculations. That's the only thing I wish the game gave me, because it doesn't really give you calculations on how like like it tells you stone hammer, ten EP attack, right? But it doesn't tell you like its base damage or anything like that, or how ATS affects it or anything like that. Like there's nothing in here about that kind of stuff. But it gives you just enough information that you can kind of figure stuff out. Oh, I gotta go this way. Never mind. Novels, items, and games are quite adorable too. Oh, you mean like the books? Gambler Jack, one and two. Um. Okay, where do I need to go? Oh yeah, it's in the hotel. It's in here. The White Magnolia. Wait, is there someone down there? Have I seen this? What's Melvin doing here? You guys have been cleaning the house lately. Nice work. I just defeated a wanted monster myself. The monster's been getting stronger lately. It's real tough out there. Oh, okay. Okay, I don't know if I have all six. So let me save before I turn this in. Because I'm not 100% sure. Oh, did you find something? So show the ingredients they gather to Orvid. I'm going to count. Because I need six, right? For the maximum amount. Oh, this ingredient wasn't on the list. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six. That's all of them. You only need three to get the quest finished, but I got six. Yes, yes, this is incredible. Far beyond my expectations. I'd say the list is good enough to be considered complete. Oh, my dear bracers, what a, what a stunning haul. Aw, uh, nah, it was nothing. Guess this means the job's complete. Yes, and beyond my wildest dreams, allow me to offer you a well-earned bonus for your contribution to the culinary world. They're the cream of my trade, and I hope you'll eat each and every one of them to the last oozing morsel. Oh, I'm getting resources. You can eat this. Wow. Wait, don't I already have, like, 99 savory pinions? Couldn't possibly. Please, don't make me take all this. Haha, uh -huh, no, I'll not hear of it. You did the job beautifully. You will be rewarded for it. No need to hold back on my account. Go on, take it. Oh boy, thanks. You've done very well this time. I'll be sure to call on you when a new job comes up until then. Orvid, 
I think I already had 99 of those. How much do they sell for? Let me check. I wonder if I could sell them. Because if I can sell them, then... Wait, can I sell them to him, actually? I don't even know if I can sell him stuff. Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah, I'm gonna reload. Because otherwise, I just, like, literally, I don't get any savory opinions. Because you can only hold 99 at a time. I should probably sell my stuff that I have 99 of, actually. Just so I don't over... Because I'm probably, like... I'm just not getting anything. Oh, yeah, see, I have... I'm just gonna sell 21 of them. Do I have anything else that I'm, like, capped at? Yeah, I'm capped here, too. Just sell this, these ingredients, because it's too, just too much stuff, you know? Okay, now I got 74, so now I can get a bit more of them. Cool. Whoops. Come on. I'm gonna skip all this. Awesome. Now I should have 94. Cool. I'm actually gonna sell more of them. So I, I never get capped. Because getting capped is bad, and I, I could probably use the mirror in the future. Oh, I love this place. Okay. Where are we off to now? Genesis Royal Academy, right? Um, I, I kind of need to use the bathroom first, though. So I think this is, like, a good point for me to go use the bathroom real quick. Yeah, and we're gonna do these quests after we go to the Jennifer Royal Academy. Because they're both long quests, and I kind of- I kind of hope that I can get rid of Dorothy. So I can do those quests without having them for- with me. But, I'm gonna be right back. And then, uh, when I get back, we'll go to the Royal Academy. Oh, I hope Chloe's there. I really want to see Chloe. And I am back. Howdy, howdy. Oh, but she's trapped behind me the entire time. Place is a bar, but there's a really, really drunk customer there. He's a real old guy, but it seems like something really bad happened. Wait, what? I wonder why the old guy doesn't go home. Wait, what? Our place is a bar? I mean, the White Magnolia is not a bar. Oh, is this, is this guy? Please believe me, the the me in the mansion wasn't wasn't me. That's all that's going through my head. Is this the bar? There's an old guy at the bar. Place is a bar, but there's a really really drunk customer there. There's a really old guy, but it seems like something really bad happened. I mean, the only she doesn't live here. I'm guessing it's the White Magnolia she's talking about. I'm guessing- I'm assuming it's the White Magnolia. That's the only thing I could think about, and it's that guy. It's the guy that- he worked for the, um... He worked for the mayor, didn't he? I think- I think that's what it was. I hear a bruh moment. Bruh. Even though the White Magnolia is basically just an inn, you know? It's not really a bar. It's weird that they- the kid's describing it like that. Okay, I think we've got one more screen down, and then we'll be at the, uh... Oh my gosh! We're going back to the Genesis Royal Academy! Ah! Why is this game so nostalgic? I could imagine... Okay, because cause you guys had to wait, like, what? Five years? To actually play this game some more, right? Because that's how long it took for the second part to get localized, or the second chapter to get localized. Which would mean... 
this would probably be even like another level of nostalgia to come back to these locations after waiting five years. I have to obviously play first chapter. Yeah. Oh, there's no way that you could play this game. Like, starting off with this game, you'd be crazy. I will say the combat is definitely better in this game, and the orbit system's better in this game. I have it, but didn't buy it. I mean, that's all on you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be talking about it, though. I wouldn't be telling people about that. Because... You have to remember that, unlike with, with like... You can talk about that kind of stuff with, like, PlayStation 1 games, but you don't really want to talk about that kind of stuff with, uh... With games that are currently available on modern consoles. Because, uh... People have been, like, sued for stuff like that. Hey, Flope! We're, we're at the Genesis Royal Academy, dude! Ah, uh, so this is the Royal Academy. Full of budding flowers, trembling with the potential, dude with the passionate moisture of sweat and youthful tears. Ah, uh, lovely place. Oh, wow! I see, like, ten pictures I want to take already! I'm gonna go through so much film! Uh, just a reminder, we're here to investigate the ghost mess. I don't care, I'm going back to school! Keep your heads in the game, thanks. This kind of makes me all nostalgic, though. I mean, we were only here a week, but... Hey, that just goes to show how important the time you spent with your friends was. You did something for the Academy play, right? Oh, I heard about that from Niall. Estelle was a knight and Joshua was a princess, right? Oh, I wish I could have gotten some pictures. The only thing I wish in the first game that we, we were able to do, though, is, like, actually be able to be in school for that week. Instead, we just got, come like, some snippets, and then we were just on the final day. I kind of wish that we actually, like, got to be in school for that week. Like, even if it was, like, an hour worth of gameplay, it would have been cool. Finally, back to the good place. Ah, finally. How's your day going, Lope? Wait, what? Is this true? Ah, uh, what a tragedy that I should miss. Joshua at his most graceful and alluring. We simply must find him and have him wear such splendor again. Oh no, Olivia's like, I gotta see Joshua in a dress. And of all my memories are ruined forever. Changing gears though, Matron Teresa said the test period would be over soon. Wonder if we're here a little early though. Is that Seek? <gasps> Chloe, my love. Oh, well, I have no idea what you're saying, but you're welcoming me, right? How have you been, Sig? Estelle? That has to be Chloe. Oh? Chloe! And the whole crew! Chloe, huh? Been a while, huh? It has. Um, I... I... Oh! A running hug. Well, what's wrong, Chloe? I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. You've suffered so much, and I, I can't do anything. I can't do anything to help my friends. I'm such a wretch. Hey, hey, don't say that. I'm glad you care so much. I'm sure Joshua would feel the same way. I'm just happy to see you again. I, me too. Thanks, Adios, we were able to meet again. Good grief. You two are dramatic even off the stage. I still think she's the most anime-looking character out of all the characters in the game, is Jill. Hey, Estelle. I think we saw each other at last at the birthday celebrations, right? Hi, Jill. Yeah, that's about right. And Hans, too. Hello. Hi, Estelle. Everyone. I'd love to chat, but I think we need to put that aside for a minute. You guys are here on Bracer Business, right? The Dean wants to see you. We'll show you the way. Aw, Hans doesn't have Joshua now, though. Who's the one character that deserves everything because of the way they act, right? That's a pretty heartwarming moment. Have you done the other side quest already? I've done all the other side quests. I just haven't done um the two the new monsters on the road missions because I wanted to uh, get rid of Dorothy before I did those ones. Yes, I see. So you suspect this white shadow is originating from the academy grounds? Yes, sir. It seems like it is. So the guilds like permission to investigate inside the academy. 
you cool if we take a look around and ask the students some questions? Certainly, given the circumstances, I would ask you to investigate in truth. While I have little idea what this white shadow could be, if it is affecting the election, we cannot simply sit idle and let it be. Thanks, sir. So, um, you mentioned not knowing what the white shadow might be. Alas, no, no one's reported anything of the sort to me. Do has anyone come to the student council about such a thing? Hmm. No, not a peep. It was exam crunch time, though. Nobody really had to come say so much as hi to us anyway. I see, that one makes sense. Huh? Uh, I think I'm lost. Here at the Royal Academy, there are periodic exams which determine if you proceed to the next grade. Even if the students saw something, they might just choose to ignore it and focus on studying. I have to admit, I'd probably be one of them. I know I'd rather get one more formula in my head than focus on something that might just be my sleep-deprived mind playing tricks on me. Whoa, are the exams really that tense? Intense. Wow, they work you students to the bone. But as of today, the exams are done. Sweet mercy of adios. And people are going to be a lot more relaxed. If people were going to start talking about ghost stories, today's the day for it. There is a converse to this. If rumors spread too far, it will be hard to divine the truth. If we wish to hear the stories from the witnesses themselves, we must act today. Well then, you may begin your investigation immediately. Jill, Hans, Chloe, I expect you to give them your full support. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. So first off, we're investigating something we need at headquarters. Someone might come to the student council with information so you can use our meeting room. That'll be perfect. Let's go. So we're going to use this as the meeting room. Okay, let's divide up the jobs. Agat and I will go question the teachers. They should be in the faculty lounge right now. After that, we'll hunt down the rest of the staff and interrogate them too. Easy enough. Hans will check the records in the reference room and see if anything like this has happened around here before. Understood. Estelle and Chloe will be in charge of interviewing students. I'm going to have my alone time with Chloe. Okay. And Olivia is going to sit right here. We'll do our best. Dorothy and Olivia, you two are investigate the grounds as you see fit. I'll trust your, um, your artist intuition to find something. <sighs> Leave it to me. <laughs> I'll do my best. Okay, so everyone, try and finish up your investigations by nightfall and return here. All right, fall out. God, I wouldn't trust Olivia to leave. I would not trust Olivia to leave. She really is good at this, huh? I noticed it during the school festival, too. She can be pretty silly at times, but I guess she leads the student council for a reason. <laughs> well, she does want to become a politician, kind of like Mabel of Bose. She was really frustrated when the election began. She kept going on about how she could have been a candidate if she were 10 years older. Uh, well, I guess she could, yeah. Oh yeah, I was wondering, how much do Jill and Hans know about you, Chloe? I know you mentioned once they nicknamed you. Yeah, yes they did. They essentially know everything. I mean, we saw them at the end of the, uh, in the epilogue of the first game. So they, they definitely know everything. They saw through my disguise about halfway into my first year here. Aside from them, only the Dean knows my true identity. That makes sense, I guess. They do seem pretty comfortable hanging out with you, even though they know about your important rural stuff. Yes, just like you, Estelle. You are the best friends I have. Haha, <laughs> come on, you're embarrassing me here. Anyhow, let's go find some students to interrogate. Did you see anything weird during the test period? Should be good enough without raising suspicion, right? Yes. That should keep rumors from spreading, I think. Remember, though, some of the students may be back in their dormitories already. Good point, we'll look there too. Off we go, a question and then. Oh my god, I can't believe we get to explore. I think that the, uh, I think what's going to end up happening, oh my god, Chloe, what's wrong with your level? Chloe. I thought I taught you better than this. You're falling behind because of your studies. I can't believe you, Chloe. I just can't believe you. Oh my gosh, Chloe. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I am jacking your stuff. Hey, if she, if she gives it to me, she gives it to me. Wait, so I can get HP too now? Ooh, I like it. I really, really like it. So I got blue impact now. Blue impact, you need five. Wait, what's hill? Whoo! Whoo! Hold up! Wait a minute! Terrell?
Hold up. Um. How does this even work? I can get three, two? Is there anything I can do here that would like... Two, three... I get rid of dark matter if I do that though, and I get rid of hell spear. I don't think there's anything I can do with only two, with the two three actually, at least not with the characters I have on. Yeah, I don't care about Terra L. Like, how much does Terra L even heal? Like, I kind of just want to see how much does it heal. Oh, I thought it said resurrect from the dead. 6,005. Yeah, that's way too much healing. Whew. Who needs that? Not me. Yeah, EP cut's still better. I wish I could have, like, La Tira somehow, though. 8, 2. There's only a way for me to get La Tira right now. I would do it, but I don't think there's any way for me to get La Tira right now. But what it, what I can do with Hill is uh, Olivier. I could put this on Olivier, and it gives me a second person to use Hill on, and it gives me the two. So I still have two to do um more stuff. But I, I think with uh, with her, I think this is the best still. Like in order for me to have Hell's Gate and everything else, I think this is the best setup for her still. I don't know if I should give her this stuff, though. Kind of worries me giving her all this. Yeah. You're not going to do these chair? Yeah, I'm, like, not even close to that, needing that much healing. It's you who is over too overleveled. Just simple revenge for being jacked last game. But alas, that was the only way to pass the prologue. True. Might be a good thing the Terrell is overpowered. Cool, you can't transfer saves to second chapter, at least levels. Oh, uh, you can. You you can transfer levels to second chapter. I just wasn't that high of a level. Oh, if you notice, I don't have a lot of my um stuff. Yeah, a lot of my stuff I don't have right now. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about equipping her yet. I'll equip her later. I'll equip her later for sure. But I, I like her orbit system. It's good. It's good for water-based stuff. Um, honestly, I could probably give her Latira too. What's her, um, her arts looking like? Look at that. Revives KO'd and heals 3,500. That, that looks nice. That's a full heal, automatically. Oh, I love her. Gosh, uh, let's change up battle positions, though. Yo, she's gonna get wrecked if she gets hit, though. She really is. I'll just save right here, though. Like, I'm not- I'm not even gonna equip her yet, so I don't- I doubt we're gonna get into a fight. If we get into a fight, it's gonna suck. Cause she's only level 39, but I- I doubt we're going to get into a fight. We can just talk to all the students. Hey, you two, how goes the questioning? Well, we've just started, so we don't have much yet. Have you had any luck with the records? Not yet, but there aren't many records that could be relevant, so this shouldn't take long. Hey, I know you're busy, but could I take a minute of your time? Uh, sure. Let me guess, this is about Joshua, right? Yeah. Oh, I haven't heard all the details, but he's gone missing, right? He, uh, has... But don't worry. It's something he did on his own, so it's basically like him running away from home. Hmm, I wonder. I know I only spent a week or so with him, but... Well, we really got along, got to know each other, we talked about a whole lot of things. We could... He could just not shut up about his life after he came to live with you, Estelle. Uh, re really? That's so embarrassing, I was such a tomboy. 
Or, I mean, I guess that's still true, but... Uh, well, I heard a lot of heartwarming stories, I'll say that much. The thing is, I never heard a word about anything before then. Oh. One time I just kind of casually asked about what his life was like before he came to live with you. I'll never forget his expression when I asked that. I'll never be able to. His eyes just sort of clouded over. It was like he was staring over a selge long field of who knows what that only he could see. Afterwards, though, he just laughed it off and pretended it never happened while avoiding the question. I don't really know his history, but his leaving has something to do with his early life, doesn't it? Yeah, we're pretty sure it does. I knew it. Whenever we went to bed, we'd always talk about how the day went, right? How practice was going, for example, or how delicious lunch was, that sort of thing. Whenever we did that, he got this look, like he was looking at something bright and beautiful. It was the expression of someone looking at something they want, but can't have. And at the same time, he just sort of seemed to accept that it was something he could never have. He never really lost that look the entire time he was here. Joshua, it is something you can have, you giant idiot. Estelle, so yeah, I know I shouldn't really get involved since I don't know you two that well, but... Can I ask one favor of you, just one? Huh? If you meet him again, don't ever let him have that kind of expression. He is an idiot. I think he can't have that kind of life. He's got so just as much of a right to love, laugh, and enjoy life as any of us do. Can you do that for me? Hans. Yeah, of course I can. I'll wake him up to the fact, uh, to that fact, even if I have to slap his cheeks beat red in the process. It may take that uh, to really get him to understand, but we'll do it. Oh, crud. Oh, so uh, sorry in advance, Jay. Mm. But good to get that off my chest. Sorry I shouldn't take up too much of your time. Good luck with your investigation. Yeah, thanks, Hans. Good luck to you too, Hans. That was cool. That was a good conversation. Uh, one thing I forgot to check, though, is if I can give two more... Could I get Waikahana? Because I, if I can get, get something that has two, I might be able to give Waikahana to Olivier right now. Because I, I currently have nine. I have Clock Up X with Olivier. I think I might better give Waikahana to Olivier. No, I have Clock Down on Olivier. But who knows about Waikahana? But I, have, I do have Clock Down. I hope I could with Hill. Yo, Chloe. Are you getting ready for club two? No, I'm afraid not. Unfortunately, I don't have the time right now. Checking around the school for something. Uh, checking for what? Well, you see. Stella explained that they were looking into strange events that might have occurred during the exam period. Strange events. Sorry, I don't remember anything like that. I know there are weird rumors floating around, but can't say I know the details. I see. Either way, thanks. We'll try someone else. I'm sorry. I couldn't be more helpful. No worries. Thanks for your time. No problem. I like how you, like, I actually recognize his name. I'm um, got a sec. Monica, uh, do you need something? Yeah, I've got a question for you. A strange event during exam period. Oh, like what? That sounds fascinating. Did something happen? You're entirely too excited about this, you know. It probably means she doesn't know anything. Guess we gotta go somewhere else. So what happened? Hey, come on, tell me! Aw, poor Monica. The dialogue. Oh, nice, I caught the stream. Hey, Chelsea, welcome back! Welcome, welcome. Nice seeing you. Young lady plate. I have to buy it. I don't know what it does, but we have to buy all the new food. Uh, cures freeze, but it's only a hundred. Oh, I already have this recipe to learned. Gosh, only four hundred health though. Why you gotta do me like that? For reals. I wish I could craft mine to an HP2, but I know I can't. I like how she's taking pictures. Oh, can I talk to them too? Gosh. Wait, is Chloe's portrait different too? Oh, you can see her, her rapier in her hand and everything. Gosh, she's amazing. Good work with your test. You're hungry, right? Go on. Order what you'd like. A Dorothy, what are you doing? 
I'm taking beautiful pictures of the cafeteria. That's right, she did. She wanted to take pictures. I got some really cute shots of the seafood jelly. It's so jiggly. Pretty good, huh? I don't know what I expected. I mean, you literally let her have her, like, out to her own devices. Oh, and there's Olivier. Hey, at least Olivier is here and not screwing around. Oh, uh, why? If it isn't Estelle. How's it going, Olivier? Turning anything up? Aha, uh -huh, marvelous! Or so I imagine I left that business to Dorothy. More importantly, I heard tell of a dorm for the female students. I'm urgently searching for it. For the girl's dorm. Why the heck are you searching for that? Well, I think I kind of guessed, but... Uh, that should be obvious. To safeguard the place where these maidens lay themselves to sleep naturally. Uh, I knew it was going to go there. How, um, expected of you. It would, after all, be far too late once the foul hands of evil disturbed their peace and put them in danger, you see? Oh, yes, incidentally, Estelle. I believe you have spent some time at this academy before. Perhaps you could guide me to the dorm. <laughs> I'm a little busy right now, so another time. I know whose foul hands of evil I'm going to safeguard the door girl's dorm from. <gasps> oh, I love it. Can I talk twice? Huh, the girl's dorm of the renowned Royal Academy. I'm sure tremendously sweet buds are flowering within. <laughs> oh, I'm so not letting him in there. Everyone's portrait is different in each game, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I, like, they got their portraits upgraded. I thought I saw Chloe wearing a different outfit, though, in the opening cinematic, but maybe she wasn't. Maybe that was just, like, a trick of the imagination or something. Is there anything odd during the exam period, you ask? Hmm, I wonder. Hmm? It didn't tell me anything, though. What? I'm busy right now. Odd occurrences during exam. No, nothing. Really. I'm just gonna, like, I'm just assuming that there's, we're gonna have to go to the mansion behind the school again. That's what I'm thinking is gonna end up happening. Trade defense during the exam period. No? Don't really know of anything. Try asking someone else. Anyone else around here? This is like the groundskeeper. It's the janitor. The clubs are starting up again tomorrow. I'm doing my rounds on the school grounds, making sure everything's in good shape. Hmm. Oh, these two. Maybe they know something. I mean, excuse me. And how come no one ever told me? What? I already said that I'd spend my vacation sightseeing across Liberal. Why am I being forced to return home now? Felicity, please calm yourself. No, I refuse. This time I will say my piece. Um, tests are finally over, and I was finally starting to plan all the things I wanted to do for my vacation. So why has a return ticket to the Empire conveniently shown up on my doorstep now of all times? You, you've been plotting against me with Grandfather, haven't you? Man, hard to get a word in edgewise. Let's just see what happens. I truly believe it would be in your best interest to keep these complaints to yourself for now. They can only serve to make things worse. Excuse me? Excuse me? Oh my gosh, this girl. Have you forgotten your place? How dare you speak to your mistress in such a manner? Oh, I never knew that. So that's why she's always talking to her that way. Oops. Uh huh, uh huh. Pardon us? I did try to warn you. Uh hmm. You need something from me. Yeah, sorry to butt in while you're busy. We're in the middle of an investigation, you see. Estelle explained that they were looking into strange events that might have occurred during the exam period. I see, you've come about that little incident. Reina, please, that's enough. I can hardly bear to recall such horrors. Did something happen? Indeed. In fact, what we saw would qualify as more than strange. It was a man from a uh, form floating in the air. Or human form floating in the air. Reina, please, tell me everything you saw in as much detail as possible. I would love to. I believe I could share enough information for the both of us. Is that acceptable, Felicity? Oh, f fine. Do whatever you want. See, I thought they were just friends and that, like, Felicity was just mean to Reyna or whatever. But now I know that, like, it's a, it's a different relationship. It was the night before exams. Very suddenly, Felicity said there was someone outside the window. Oh, joy of joys. This already sounds like the start of some ghost story. When I peeked out the 
window, I saw a human form floating above the schoolhouse, just as she'd said. It spun as if blown by the wind. Oh. Eventually, it disappeared towards the back of the schoolhouse. And then came the worst part of all. My lady, being struck by fear, climbed into my bed and... Surely that part isn't relevant to the investigation, Reyna. Yeah, no need to be that specific. Oh, I see. A pity, just as it was getting interesting, too. Anyway, to make a long story short, a human shape appeared in the sky above the schoolhouse, spun around, then vanished towards the backside of the schoolhouse. Yes, that's correct. Was that of any help? More than helpful, thanks a lot. We couldn't have asked for a better testimony, really. All right, I should jot this down in my notebook right away. Ah, uh, still can finally see the G word. LMAO. Right? It took her that long to be able to say ghost. Interesting. I see. I see. She jumped into her bed. Oh, this is. Find your friends during the exam. No, nothing in particular happened, but how interesting. Mysterious phenomena. Assaulting the academy. Oh my. I might be able to use it in the novel I'm planning. I'm just assuming that, like, it's going to be behind the school. Wow, we could actually go back back here. Oh, this is the auditorium. Oh, we're gonna have a flashback moment now. Hmm, it's strange, isn't it? It's only a few months ago, and yet you can't help but reminisce. Yeah. A whole lot happened after that. Our calm, serene princess, Joshua, has left us. Now it's just us on the stage. Having no supporting cast feels kind of strange, you know? It does. Say, Estelle, may I make a small confession? Uh, sure. I like Joshua. I mean, you know, um, affectionately. What? I was a bit attracted to him from the moment we met. Chloe! You try to, you don't, you don't tell your, your girl that you like her boy? What? I see, don't. Chloe, this is, this is friendship suicide. Ugh. Oh. I kind of actually kind of figured it always sort of seemed that way. And you even kissed him, too! That kissing at the end of the play, I won't deny, it sent my heart racing. I kept apologizing quietly to you, even as I threw myself into the role. I was all set to really kiss him at the end, not just pretend. Really? You're a lot braver than I thought, Chloe. <laughs> Julia says I always do things that make her worry. But then when Mayor Dalimore pointed that gun at you, Estelle, Joshua's eyes. Never seen eyes so full of murderous rage. And it was all because you were that important to him. That's when I gave up because I realized I never had a chance against that. Um, I don't know. I think it might be a little too early for you to give up. I mean, honestly, Chloe, I can't hope to compare to you. Oh, Estelle, you're so silly when it comes to this sort of thing. You really have no idea just how charming you are. Man, I pay you a compliment and you poke fun at me. Come on, Chloe, I was serious. <laughs> but that's just it, so was I. I love that about you, Estelle, your open honesty. And I think Joshua feels the same way. I guess Joshua and I are a bit alike in that sense. You know, I did notice that, kind of. You're both smart, level-headed, polite. To be honest, totally told Joshua you two would be great together because of that. Until I met everyone here, I was very lonely. I think in that sense I was a little like Joshua before he met you. There's a difference between us. It would be our strength. Your strength like how? Grandmother wishes very much to name me the next queen, especially after what happened recently. I guess it would be for the best, all things considered, but... If I become queen, I'll never be Chloe Rentz again. I will be Claudia Von Osleys forevermore. Burdened with power and responsibility. I'd never again get to hug those orphans or talk to my friends casually or attend class. The very idea terrifies me. Yet, I feel so pathetic for not having the strength to return to that solitude when it's necessary. I still haven't given Grandmother a proper answer. Chloe, in that sense, Joshua is stronger than I ever could ever hope to be. I'm sure that he, more than anyone, didn't want to be separated from you. How is he stronger when he just ran away? But even so, he disappeared so as to not involve you in what he felt was his own problem. Is that really the reason? Joshua's strong, on some level, yeah, but I don't think that's the kind of strength you should admire. Hmm? 
the role of a queen to rule a whole country, of course, you're hesitating, it's natural. Heck, what'd be really worrying would be if you wanted it without hesitating, like Dunan. Being worried and unsure about whether you'll be good and still wor- trying anyway, that's why you'll be an amazing queen, Chloe. Estelle. But Joshua, Joshua didn't hesitate. He barely thought twice. He left me, left us behind as if it were the most natural thing in the world that that's something I can't forgive from him. Estelle, you're right. It is unforgivable. Why is it the cute ones are always the ones who don't understand a girl's feelings? Especially the ones who are cuter than and don't forget the... (laughs) I'm so glad we're friends, Chloe. I don't have many people I can open up to quite like this. Haha, neither do I. Although, all we've been talking about are embarrassing things, really. Oh, um, please don't misunderstand me, though. I don't feel, um, that way about Joshua at all now. Ah, don't worry, it's okay. I kind of learned the hard way that love isn't something you should try and hold back. (laughs) Haha, I guess my dad would totally call us both a couple of dumb kids. Thank you, Estelle. Well, to be honest... If I said I didn't have any feelings left toward him, I'd be lying. But more than anything, I want to see you two happy together, and... Don't worry, I get it. Anyway, we spent a bit too much time with Girl Talk, I think. Want to get back to interviewing the students? Yes, we should. Let's try to talk to everyone before nightfall. I wonder if you never walked into the stage if this conversation would happen. Like, could you actually, like, skip this conversation altogether? Joshua Besker, she couldn't resist his pretty charms. She couldn't... She couldn't... Just like everyone else in this story. The Trolls of Joshua. Or the Tells of... I don't know. Tells of Joshua. Uh, still only use level 99. Only party members. Not Shira, Zane. They're both useless. Oh my gosh. On easy mode. There's nothing wrong to run away from the pain. At least how I see it. Oh, Estelle spotting facts. See, it would be cool if in here there was like... Something like an outfit or something, you know? Like, of their costumes from the play. That'd be cool if it was up there. Oh, wait. Is there anything up on the... Up that way? I don't see anything up there. Mm. Mr. Effort, club start up again tomorrow after a long hiatus. I'm getting in some running today while I can get to myself back in the groove. Yeah, let's go explore everywhere else, too. Even though, like, I don't think there's any students for us to even talk to right now. Finally. Finally, exams are over. Uh, what? Strange events during exams? No, don't remember anything. Strange events. It's no different than any other exam period. I was busy from morning till night studying. Strange events during the exam period. Sorry, weird stuff's not on my radar. I've only got my eyes on cute stuff. So, I don't remember seeing anything weird. Nope, nope. Yeah, she's the one who was part of like the, the, the coffee, the espresso thing. And he was the one who was drinking it all, right? Oh, man, I'm hungry. Oh, you want something? Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, we had a question. So I'll explain that. They're looking for something. Change events. Like, did you see anything weird or hear any odd sounds? Anything you might have noticed would be helpful. Odd sounds. Mm, don't make me remember all that creepy stuff. Did you see something? Yeah, I haven't actually told anyone before you guys, though. I saw someone suspicious. Really? Could you give us the details? Okay, sure. I was hanging out behind the schoolhouse on my way back home, right? It's a great place to chill during a test. No one's ever there. So I was walking around near the rear gate on my way back when this white floating person suddenly flew past. I'm sure it looked like a person. No way I could have seen it wrong. A white human form that matches what the other witnesses have said. What happened after that? He floated off towards the rear gate. After that, I didn't see him. I see, so he disappeared towards the rear gate. Yeah, this is good intel. I should write this down in my notebook. I agree. This is valuable testimony. So is that enough? I'm starving and I want to grab some food. Ah, <laughs> sorry. You're all good. Thanks for the help. Well, not sure what's going on, but good luck or whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm, like, literally, this is all pointing to having to go back to the, wait, I wish I could grab this book. Like, this is all pointing to it just being in that big house in the back. Oh, your braces, aren't you? I have already been informed of your task. Please investigate freely. Oh, there's a got a Jill. Oh, hello, you two. How goes the investigation? We'll handle this part, so we'll leave the students to you. Did anything weird happen? Anything you noticed that struck you? Anything at all? Uh, strange events. Sorry, but there wasn't anything. So I have a tremendous stack of exam papers I haven't looked at. Hope I can finish grading today. 
Oh, Chloe, did you have a question? No, actually. Ah, is it about that thing Jill mentioned a bit ago? Something about searching for people who saw something suspicious or... Yes, I'm assisting in the investigation. It's good to go out and be social once in a while. Good luck. Your teacher's cheering for you. Yes, thank you very much. Is, is she not social enough? You've begun your investigation, have you? And I see that Chloe is helping too. Yes, this case relates to our academy, so... As a student here, I'd like to help however I can. Should you need anything, don't hesitate to ask. I won't hold back any aid I can offer. Okay, let's just start from this room and then work our way around. Hello, Chloe. Do you need it something? Actually, yes. We'd like to ask you a question. Oh, what's up? Or so. Strange events. No, there wasn't anything particular. Sorry, I couldn't be of any more help. Nah, no worries. Well, thanks for your time. If anything else comes up, let me know. No one else in here. Uh, did you forget something, Chloe? No, I had some stuff I had to do. So I was walking around the schoolhouse. Uh, what kind of stuff? Well, actually... Uh, strange events. Hmm, I don't think there was anything. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm of no help whatsoever. No, don't let it bother you. Well, let's go check with other people. Thanks, Richo. No problem. Sorry, nothing weird happened. You might have better luck with someone else. Who's Patrick? I don't remember Patrick. Oh, Chloe, how'd your test go? Oh, well enough, I guess. More importantly, Patrick, may we have a moment? Sure, what is it? Or er, so actually... Strange events, you say. I do have something that might be along that line, sort of, but... It's fine if you don't know the exact details. Just let us... Just tell us everything that happened at the time. All right. Well, actually, I saw this humanoid form flying in the sky. Could you tell us any everything you remember about that? Sure, it was one of the exam on one of the exam nights. I had stayed behind in the classroom to study. Thought I noticed something move outside the window. I thought maybe the wind had picked up or something, so I went to close the window. When I saw this white shadowy form floating outside, white shadowy form. So what happened next? Unfortunately, I lost sight of it immediately. It sort of just disappeared towards the east. East would mean it disappeared toward the back of the schoolhouse, right? Yeah. Still, you remembered a lot of details. Well, it was quite an interesting phenomenon. I wrote some simple notes down, thinking I'd research it later. Research? Patrick is the student of the science, after all. Haha, I see. Was I have any help? Yeah, definitely. That was valuable a valuable testimony. I'll get that down in my notebook right away. Patrick, thank you. Not at all. It was a minor request. Do you see something? Odd events, huh? I don't think there was anything, no. Hmm, do you want something? Strange events during the exam period. No, I can't think of anything. Okay, I think I talked to... So I have three people that basically have all said the same thing. So I don't know if there's going to be anybody else to talk to. Holy crap, it's late already. I think we've gotten just about everything we can from the students. Shall we head back to the student console room? Yeah, let's. With any luck, we can put together what we've heard with everyone else and figure what, out what's up. Cool. Hmm, he wasn't in here before, though. All right, food time. Oh, Mickey. He was saying he was hungry, right? Hey, you're back. All right, everyone. Reports. Hit me in the face. Hit me in the face! <laughs> we talked to the entire staff, and practically all of them came up blank. Only one saw anything remotely weird was the janitor. He saw a suspicious person who seemed to disappear right at the gate to the old schoolhouse. Yeah, the teaching staff were all too busy preparing for the test, so nobody saw anything useful. The cafeteria lady and Fauna, the receptionist, also didn't have much to say. I was kind of afraid of that. Well, for our part, we heard some interesting stories from three students in particular. So reported Patrick, Mickey, and Felicity's stories to the group. All of them centered around the rear of the school grounds near the old schoolhouse. That strikes me as too similar to be more mere coincidence. I got some results too. I took 30 pictures of the students and teachers and 50 of the school scenery. Hee <laughs> hee. They're all really cute. I love this place. Sadly, my efforts failed to shine. I did, however, cause several beautiful kittens to flock to the siren call of my loot. So you two accomplished literally nothing, like at all. I mean, I wasn't expecting much, but come on. So that'd leave me for last, I suppose. I looked over the records for any similar cases. Problem is, everything here is so new. There's nothing really in the way of ghost stories and whatnot. 
Anything remotely relevant centers around the old schoolhouse. I gotta go for now. I think I'll just uh, idle have fun. See you later, Lord Mage, and thanks for uh, lurking. In that case, that old ruin is suspicious. No matter how you slice it, what's the deal with that shack anyway? It's the original Genis building. It's been around for centuries as far as I know. The new campus was finished about 20 years ago. The school moved here and the old place has been closed off ever since. Wait, hang on. It's closed off. But I thought we popped in there during the school festival. Unfortunately, some of the very dangerous monsters that have been wandering around got in after you left. We've had to leave it tightly locked and abandoned ever since. Oh my, a stone ruin dating back centuries. It strikes me as the perfect haunt for a ghost. Thanks a heap for pointing that out. Well, I really don't want to go, but it's not like we have any other leads. It's getting pretty late, though, so how about we check it out tomorrow, yeah? Why, Estelle, whatever makes now a bad time. Doesn't seem that late. I don't want to go exploring an old schoolhouse with a ghost floating around in it when it's about to be dark out. There's no way. Well, you see, it's almost nightfall and it might be dangerous with the monsters and stuff. It'll be a bit of a challenge during the day, so I would imagine it'd be stupidly dangerous at night. Ah, but is that not the point? The truly terrifying manifests best under the light of the moon. If there's any time to grasp the true nature of our specter, it is now. Yeah, yeah! I don't like the sounds of this. You gotta get ghost pictures at night. It's the law or something. The law in Looney Land, maybe. I still remember when, when Estelle was like, I'm no priest. <laughs> Heck no, I'm no priest. Uh, Estelle, what's wrong? Uh, I don't know. Thought I saw something outside the window. It was sort of a whitish shadow. Probably just see no still hold on a white shadow <gasps> Wait, are we really seeing this right now? Oh my gosh Holy cow He is wearing a mask What he's bowing at us and then floating away now we have to go We literally saw him right in front of our face Estelle what? <laughs> hey, did she just pass out? Oh, uh, Estelle, uh, ick up. Huh? Yo, she passed out. Huh? Estelle, you're awake. Oh, thank goodness. How do you feel? Are you hurt? No, I think I'm okay. Wait, this is the girl storm, right? Why am I? Wait, I saw it. I saw the white shadow right out that window. And then it... Ah, uh, so you really did see a ghost. Estelle, what did the white shadow look like? Well, it was a man dressed in old-fashioned clothes like an opera get-up or something and wearing a mask. He danced in circles and he was glowing. He flew off toward the old schoolhouse. Whoa, what a neato ghost. I'm going to a hazard a guess that this matches the description you've heard before, right? I figured the old schoolhouse would have something to do with this. Screw it. What? I don't know if this is a spook or a dude with an airship in his pants or whatever. If he's gonna run around looking crazy and scaring people and making them faint, I'm going to beat him to a pulp once and for all. Beat him to a pulp. Oh, Estelle, do ghosts make you angry and afraid and stuff? I was scared of ghosts because I wasn't sure if they existed or could rip my soul out or something. Now that I've seen one, I ain't afraid of no ghost, not at all. If I see it again, I'm going to polish my staff with its face. I'm not sure if this is courage or if she's gone off the deep end. He, oh, Estelle. Airship in his pants, <laughs> right? <laughs> Airship in his pants. All right, I got the key to the back gate from the teachers. Okay, we got the key. Thanks, Sans. I'm glad you're fired up, but you sure you're okay? Of course I'm okay. Why wouldn't I be okay? When have I ever given the impression the ghost paralyzed me with fear? That's silly. When you passed out, maybe? We're gonna go into the schoolhouse, punch the ghost in the face, and drag him back to the guild. Uh, if you say so. Yeah, we're finally entering Estelle's element, it seems. Well then, let us begin our test of courage. Munchers may have taken root in the ruin, so only those skilled at the art of combat should enter. Good thinking for once. The camera girl can come, 
but the others should stay behind. No! Uh, okay. Yeah, I know. We'll leave everything to you, big, tough fighting types. We're waiting here in case something happens. Oh my god. May I accompany you? What? Uh, excuse me, princess. Isn't this a little dangerous for the possible heir to a liberal? The children at the orphanage have seen this, whatever it is. I cannot simply let it be. I've also been inside the old school house on a few occasions. I think I may be able to help. Tish, fine, okay. Of course, when I think about it, you're probably skilled enough to help us out anyway. Watch with how you went up against Richard and all. Just be careful and don't overdo it, okay? I'll be careful, I promise. Okay, then. Let's head into the schoolhouse and catch us a ghost. Yeah. I hate how big of a line we have of people now. Literally five whole people. Oh my god, if only Chloe was better though. So I think I have all the same equipment still on them. Yeah, I still have all the same equipment. I just gotta see if I can get Olivia to get White Kahana. With the, with the hill equipped to him. Even though it does mean that Chloe won't really have good equipment on her. But I still want to see. Hmm. See, this gives him 10. This does give him 10. But then range 1 keeps him from a uh, Getting like Ahana, right? Then it was like an action two or whatever, or cast two. Do do I have action two and cast twos? I don't think I do. I still only have cast one and action one. Hmm. So what am I missing? In order to get Waikahana, what am I missing? Oh gosh, I need four? Four. Four. I don't think I can get that. Is there- I don't think there's any way I can get four- I got, I got four, four, and ten, but I don't think there's any way for me to get four wind right now. Right? I don't think I can get four wind. I don't think there's any possibility of that. Yeah. I don't think there's any possibility of me getting four wind while also having everything else on right now. Like, I have clock down now, I guess. But honestly, I think I'm better off just like... Going back to defense two on him. And then what's what's blizzard? Is there a blizzard in this game? Diamond dust, I mean. Diamond dust is way too expensive too. So yeah, I'll just do these on her. Um How do I give her the ability to do like a AoE tier? Law tier is those two. I wish there was a way I could, like, leave this spot in the game and, like, come back here or something. Wait, why, why doesn't he have cast one on, matter of fact? He literally doesn't have cast one on. Oh, no, he does have cast one on. Never mind. Okay, he does. I was like, what? He doesn't, he doesn't even have cast one on right now. Lottier, there we go. ADF. Evade. Yeah, I think this is what I basically I want from her. So just be a secondary healer, I guess. Unless I want to get rid of Estelle's ability to heal, right? Like, is there anything I could do with Estelle that's... 
I don't really want to get rid of Estelle's ability to heal. Like, Earth Guard's kind of useless right now. I could give her Thallus. But I don't have to use items to resurrect, couldn't I? I hate how I don't have EP cut for her right now, too. I think she's fine. It's just really hard. L let me check if I could actually, like, leave and, and come back. I want to check if I can actually leave and come back. Hey, Natrig! Welcome! That's right. You're, you're off around this time, right? It's about chapter one? Of course. <laughs> Were you expecting me to be any further? Has there been a boss already for this stream? There has not been a boss yet. There, there was, there was not a boss. There was no more, like, all the ch rest of the chests in the Saffle Tower didn't even have enemies in them. I don't think I, either of us want to slow you guys down, so we'll wait here and sound good. And be careful, okay? I'm expecting some fun antidotes once this is all said and done. We'll be on standby here in case anything happens. Be careful. I just finished with work. Long day. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't think it's going to let me leave. Yeah, I don't think it's going to let me leave. Yeah, the gate's locked. Knew it. So even if I wanted to like equip better stuff onto uh, onto her, there's just no way they 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 never allow me to do that kind of stuff, do they? Um, let's put her here, Olivia there. So this right here gives me the best ability to be able to heal everyone, while also putting Olivia kind of farther back. Even though I could even go further back like this, but. I don't know if that's really worth it to go that far back. I mean, it kind of is. Kind of just guarantees that, like, yeah, I kind of, I kind of want to go like this. So she's just gonna be like a super big healer for the group. Just gonna be like a backup healer that can also do damage. He's just gonna be like fire damage and up close. He's gonna be his this earth damage and uh, whatever. What kind of damage do I not have? Do I not have any specific type of damage? I think I have it. Is there any like AoE water? Like there's really no AoE water attacks until you get to Diamond Dust. That's so whack. Yeah, I basically have every damage type right now. Like every single one. Gosh, I wish I could get Waikahana, but I, you just can't get Waikahana till you have something that can give more than four wind. Olivia is very, very close to having it, but... Uh, equipment. That's almost something I did not do. Yeah, she doesn't have anything there. Whereas attacks and defense will become water-based. I'll just give her this. Prevent seal, I guess. Yeah, let's prevent seal with her. Cool. So pretty much there's nothing for us to do except for just going. Unless there's something like hidden in this locate, like hitting it hidden here. Oh, this is weird at night. What is he doing? What are you doing all... What, what are you all doing out this late? Me? Just making sure everything's properly locked up before break. This is weird. Exploring the school at night. What? The dean is up. I've heard about the staff that you're going to investigate the old schoolhouse. Chloe, will you be going too? Yes, I know it best out of all of us, so I'd like to help. I see. Very well. Everyone take care of Chloe, won't you? Yeah, leave her to us. Gosh, so weird. Everyone's awake. My class did a most wonderful job this time. I'm certain this, that way we beat Milia's class at the very least. <laughs> My class really gave it, uh, gave it their all during the exams. I think we may have exam, we have even be in Wyola's class. <gasps> Phew, finally done with grading that fat stack of papers. Man, my neck is sore. Hmm, <laughs> the darkness is so calming. Being in a lonely schoolhouse in the dead of night is everything I'd picture to be perfect. That kid? 
A little bit, a little bit strange. Just a little bit. Anyone inside of the, the auditorium? Gosh, I hate how we're going to the schoolhouse at night, though. Oh, we gotta go to the old schoolhouse during the middle of the night. But why? Phew, goodness. Felicity kicked me out of the room. I'd anticipate she would object, but not to this extent. I suppose now is as good a time as any to play my cards. While I was cleaning up, I found the outfit I wore for the school festival. Caden made it for me. Super cute, right? Oh my gosh. Purity's a bookworm. Oh, Alice loves anything cute. And me, I'm all about sports. We're all so wildly different from one another in the storm. Many characters who appear in novels are inspired by real people. Writing solely on imagination tends to make the characters shallow and boring. Some people are sharing so many rooms, or so many beds, or so many beds in one room. Raina should have known how much I was looking forward to this journey. How could she arrange a return trip home behind my back? I feel like she's betrayed me. Like some rooms have like one bed, the other rooms has like three, one room has four beds. Since my focus is political science, I find the election really interesting. But not many others share my enthusiasm. Most of the students couldn't care less really. Logic's dad is one of the candidates, so you'd think he'd take this election pretty personally. Weird. Argyle's gone. I wonder where he went. Hey, what is it? It's almost curfew, so don't wander around too much. My roommate Dennis is already nose deep in his books. The exam just ended too. What the hell? Relax a little. This Dennis. Now that tests are over, I can use the downtime to get a leg up on everyone else. I'm going to study my tush off while everyone else is relaxing. Get that top score in the next exam. Just you watch. Yo. Yo, that kid. Oh, he's on another level. It's like no rest for the wicked. You scared? I'm not looking forward to going to the old school house at this time. I wish we could just wait till tomorrow. Okay, back gate is locked. Yeah, let's go and use the key. Okay, here we go. The old schoolhouse? So this is the old schoolhouse, huh? <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. I can feel my blood begin to sing with the terror of it all. <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> yeah, you two really sure seem terrified, all right. Oh, what's up? Let's tell on the door. Is that a card? This is a card, great. Let's see what's written on it. Oh, uninvited wanderers, welcome onto my transient abode. If you do not fear the curse of a thousand years, then hasten to join me. The first curse is in the great room. The hollow flame shall guide thee. The first curse is in the great room, okay. The card was engulfed in flame and burned away. What the hell? Oh, maybe it's spontaneous combustion. I've heard that happens with spooky poltergeist. Uh, what a provocative little ghost we have. Attempting to riddle us, is he? Oh, it's on me. It's on now. I'll teach him not to mess with real living people. Dude, Estelle's up so upset. Well, as long as you can keep the bravery up, we'll be okay. But the hollow flame shall guide thee. The hell does that mean? I'd be willing to guess the great room is the big entry hall just up beyond. We need to investigate it. Right, come on now. Dude, dude, old school house is back. Uh, let's check if there's any, uh, chest around the schoolhouse first. I don't remember there being any last time. I just remember there being one, like, on the other side of this one. Like, over there somewhere. <gasps> yep! Still there. It's just, like, re- it's like, somebody put new items in it for me. Wait, I'm gonna save on the outside of this house. <sighs> I remember the spiders were really strong in this place, too. Um... I don't remember which way we go. Remember there was up here. Let's, let's, let's start from the bottom up, right? Let's start from the bottom up. 
Huh, there's nothing here. There's not even any creatures here. Oh no, is it gonna jump out at me? Y'all, if I scream, if I scream, you were warned. There's gonna be something that jumps out at me, I bet. The door is locked. Use back gate key. The key doesn't fit. Dang it. There better not be none that jumps out. There better not be a jump scare. Okay. That was cool, Sibith. I hope you wash your hands if you're going to double dip. Oh my god. I hope you washed your hands if you're going to double dip. <laughs> okay, let's save. I should have made a new save, but whatever. Oh, this is on top. Huh. Oh, this is knocked over. I don't remember that was knocked over before. Huh? Oh, uh, I'm not touching that. Oh, chest. Tear bomb. The chest isn't is as empty as my will of <laughs> my well of creativity after writing all of these messages. I was breaking the fourth wall a little bit. I wonder if someday in this game we're going to like meet the chest writer. Like what if there is somebody that actually does leave the notes in the chest and we're just going to meet them someday in this game. That'd be hilarious. A hollow flame. I guess you could think of a candlestick that way. This is the only one that isn't lit. Let me take a look. There was a card within the candlestick. The second curse is within the classroom. Seek the south-facing student. This was in the classroom. Seek the south-facing student. Doubtful that's a localization edition? Daphne just says the chest is empty. What? No way. They did it that way? That's whack. The translator is the one who wrote them. Oh, that's so weird. I like the chest messages. I thought they were just like a trails in the sky thing. You know someone who wrote at least one chest message in the series, Olivier? Second curse is within the classroom. Seeks a south-facing student. So I think I know where the I know I know where that would be. The card burst into flames. Wah wah. Well, at least the answer was right. So a classroom this time, and a south-facing student in, the, in an empty school. If I remember correctly, there are four classrooms total in the left ring and two on each floor. All right then, let's check them out and watch our compasses. So if it was if it was south-facing, it would be this. Well, I mean, it would be on the bottom floor. On this side. Yeah, this right here is the south facing classroom. Right? Or would it be this door? What if I don't do anything? Huh? That was for sure the south facing classroom, but whatever. I'm pretty sure. That that would be the south facing classroom. But okay. All the desks are messed up, but this one looks okay. And it's pointing exactly south. This is probably it. It's not the it's not the classroom that's on the south side. It's the desk that is pointing south. That is so weird. Let me take a look. There was a card in the desk cavity. Third curse lies within the garden. Seek ye the fallen neck. The garden? Down the top, the garden terrace or whatever, the the card burst into flames. Yeah. Well that was right, at least where's the next one? Fallen neck in the garden. A metaphor clearly, but for what what marvelous mystery? There was that pot that had fallen over. So it could be the pot that fell over. Classrooms are on the left side, as Chloe said. If they, uh, no, there, there's classrooms on the there were classrooms on the right and left side. 
Yeah, the chess messages are something the localization team did. Honestly, why do you think the chess messages are so clear? What do you mean? Honestly, the translations in this game are pretty top-notch in general. There's only like a few translations that are a little weird. If they were already there in the Japanese version, there would probably have been a couple that just didn't make much sense. Hmm. No, but I mean, they've been doing really good in this game, so I, I feel like the localization team would be pretty well done. What happens is they usually, JRPGs use one line in the code for the chest is empty, but Trails had an individual line in the code for each chest. So the translator was like, uh, I can write something in every one of these, so she got permission and did it. That's cool. The one you check on the right side was not a classroom, it was the teacher's room. It's arranged as the one in the new school. Oh, okay. A fallen neck in the garden. This matches the requirements in a way. Yeah, this looks like it looks. The stone planter held a card and an old key. So this is, opens the door. Now thine curses relies. Overcome the final trial and stand before me. The card burst into flames. Okay. That's the end of the riddles. I think I hope. I hope thine curses realize. It's just a metaphor, though. <laughs> Regardless, he wishes us to use the key. Let's find a lock it might open. We're about to be so screwed. Okay, this is going to be the room now. Crossbows are mostly community written because of Jill Front. Well, besides those that couldn't be used in a commercial product, had to be slightly altered. That's really cool! I mean, honestly, with the amount of chest in this game that you would have to write messages into... I know that the first game started to get really repetitive with the chest messages. It was like a little annoying. It was like, really? There's so many, like, repeat chess messages. Are we gonna fight that thing? I remember that was here before, too. Is this a statue of a dragon? The statue's been here for as long as I can remember. Apparently, it's carved in the image of a dragon who used to reside in Liberal. Mm, something's off about this. Let's see if there's any kind of trick here. I do remember... Wasn't there supposed to be, like, a dragon that Nala wrote about? I want to see that dragon. I don't think this was the dragon, though. The dragon he was talking about was, like, way up uh, in the other region. In, like, the Bolse region. Bingo. Oh... For something like this to be beneath the statue. Huh. Not a bad little plan. This is getting quite exhilarating. Yeah, someone's really trying to make this fun. This was a touristy trap place. I bet it'd get a lot of gu guests. But you know, something about all this seems weird. Like, beyond what you'd expect. Like those cards. Doesn't that seem weird for a ghost? Yeah. It would seem difficult for an incorporeal spirit to do all this. Either way... We're up against something that isn't going to go easy on us. Keep it together. We're going down. I need to be careful about what I fight, though, because I can't... I don't even think there's anywhere I can go back to, uh... Hill up right now. Like, there's nowhere I can actually go sleep at, right? Oh. Huh! The game always answers my questions the moment I have them. Always. I'm like, there's nowhere I can go back to. Yeah, I heard some of the Geofront messages would be changed in the official localizations, and I know I got a lot, at least one of mine into zero. Not sure, though, if I got a second or not. I kind of forgot my other submissions, but I went to Ballistic when I saw mine was kept by... It. That's so nice! That's so cool! You're, you're, you're not to point it out when I get to it. The translator said the chess messages were her way to deal with the time crunch. Or that one of them mentioned Final Fantasy XIV and that the team was playing that instead of finishing the patch. Hmm. That's so cool. Time for pain? What is that hairy thing with tentacles coming out of it? Uh, hell, here we go. What is this? Huh? 10,000 health? Why? 
A monster made of accumulated dust and grime absorbs prey fluids for nutrients. Okay. I don't really have anybody that does good earth damage outside of a god. I honestly feel... Can this be KO'd? If this can be KO'd, then... Oh, get out. Get out! You did not just do an alien versus, like, an, an alien versus predator, like, thing at me. Um, can I just attack, actually? I just want to attack delay. Are they just Terra? I don't know if this can kill them though. I really don't know, but we're, we're, we're gonna try. It's really slow. Oh yeah, what's her crafts? Oh, did they nerf this? They hella nerfed this. Oh, they nerfed it so hard. It might be something, though, that, like, it comes back in the future or something. It, it could be that kind of thing. For sure, for sure. Yeah, it's not- I'm, it's not working what I'm trying to do. I haven't gotten one effect off yet. Hmm. It's not working. I'm a little bit worried about them getting one shot. Resist. So you can't use it against them. Um, can I impede? Is it me or is he healing every time he hits us? Oh, he is healing every time he hits us. Huh. He's healing every time he hits us right now. Which means I need to, like, try to hit harder, right? Alt guard. That's right. You can't be hit by water. Dang it. Um, but he can be hit by this. Petrify breath, right? And he can be hit- he gets hit harder by it, too. I know he can get hit harder by... Um... This other stuff, too, but I'm not actually gonna use it against him. Uh, I, I can't use water against him at all. Luckily, I know that there's like some somewhere I can like go right after this to get all my EP back. Oh, he didn't heal. It only heals with this HP absorb attack. Got it. This isn't too hard, though. Um, could- wait. Oh, no, only I'll chain one, that's right. Chain one with her crit, though. That don't seem to be like a bad idea. Because then they both crit, right? Or I just do, like, Draguna Lance or something. Let me see how this works. I'm gonna try to chain one with, uh, Olivier. Yeah, I wasn't that- I didn't do that much damage, though. Probably wasn't worth it. Oh, get out! Oh! I hate having an escort. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and Earth Guard her. I'm gonna go, just go ahead and Earth Guard her. Just in case she gets hit. So that she doesn't die.
I mean, he could just use Petrify Breath, which is what he's been doing anyways. Hmm. She can't use Blue Impact, as we found out. I don't know if her physical damage is higher or if her magical damage is higher. Let me just go test. Zero. Oh, that's right. She has water damage. Because I have her equipped with water damage. Oh, I'm so bad. And they just did that. So stupid. They just healed. And she's dead. Item... I can't reviving bomb unless they're close up. Can I... Zillia... Why, why can't I move that far? Reviving bomb is literally that far? That's so bad. So I guess I would also have to earth guard, um... You know who as well. I guess Olivia just can't move as far. Probably because of the item he has. Um, I need to impede. How do I impede right now? Impede hard break. And I still get hit. It's like, after you die, it's gonna be so much harder to, like, bring everyone back now. Like, so much harder. And get everyone in, like, a good spot where they don't just die again. Okay, that's good. He could heal? Nah, I want him to Earth Guard Dorothy. Gosh, I wish I could somehow grab the spot here. Did the oh, they missed! Good! Okay. Kolo was godlike in the previous game. Can't forget nerfed. It was broken. It was broken in the first chapter. But also, there could be a, a version 2 of it that's a little bit better, right? Never use train crash. Don't tell me what to do, McCor! God! Let me, let me learn. That, that their strength is weak. Hope you have something that gives more range but lessens movement. Good for long range characters, but it sucks if you need to use objects on something. Yeah, I, I think there's probably some kind of equipment on Olivia right now that lessens his movement, which is why he can't run anywhere. There's probably something. But I, I think I put, like, I, maybe it's the clog boots that I put onto him that makes his movement bad or something. Because I do remember I did put that on him. Let's do Flare Arrow. Instead of regular attacking with him. I kind of want to see what it does. Six seventeen. Kind of reg rather regular attack, wouldn't I? Gosh! Damn it. Why doesn't she just like... Blind this person for me, please. Like, be helpful. Literally out of spells right now. Oh, and I miss. Hmm. 
They're about to die. Like, one of those is about to die if I don't... If I'm not careful here. Okay, that's good. Kind of? Kind of good, I guess. He still has Stone Hammer, though. Do I want to impede with him or Stell? I kind of want to use Estelle's art here. Like, how close is he? He's almost dead. I kind of want to impede with him. And then here, I kind of want to use Estelle's art. True pummel, right? Only 2,000 health, but it's something. Another attack delay. Okay. They're super close now. 1,900 is what they're at. I know that, um... Whose is it? Like, Olivier's abilities aren't really that strong though, right? I'm so close right now. As long as they don't heal, I think I can get it. Oh, yeah, they're dead. They're dead. 55? You can do a 55, Olivier, can't you? Okay, good. Like, it's only 249. Like, it's so weak. But, yeah. Gosh. Chloe. Hopefully, the next thing we find isn't resistant against water. Beat down, too. That's good. Uh, yes? I don't know if beat down... Is, is that an AoE? I think it's an AoE one. That was a couple pieces of cake, I think. So this place is some kind of underground ruin. Yes, it seems so. The architecture is similar to buildings from the Middle Ages. I had no idea a place like this was so close to the Academy. Hmm, the monsters in this place are as thick as... Ho hopper Chiefs... Wait, Hopper... Ch chiefs in a wine cellar? Chefs in a wine... Chiefs in the wine cellar? I never heard that phrase. This ruin must be the trowel mentioned in the card, then. Yeah, no way we can bring any unarmed civvies with us any farther. Yo, camera girl. Yeah, get out. Yo, what's up? Heard all that? This place is a death trap for someone like you. Go back to that room we were just in and wait for us. Aw, oh, but, 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 I wanted to get some awesome ghost pictures. Hey, don't worry, Dorothy. We'll come back if we find anything, okay? You can get your awesome pictures then, right? Well, if I gotta. Be careful, okay, guys? Yeah, okay, now she won't get one shot with us. If long range scares, but it sucks if you need to use objects on someone. This is not even a boss. I think it's a single enemy. Yeah, I, I don't think it was a boss. Keep an eye on the ant monsters. They're tough mo mothers, so let's only fight the ones we need to. Right. Of course. Naturally. Yeah, it just kind of sucks that... The fact that Chloe can die in one shot kind of sucks a lot. From things like that, right? Because she doesn't have the level. Find something fun for me, please. I'd love to take a picture of a ghost. Yeah, like, the fact that Chloe can die in one shot sucks. And I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Let's just keep her from getting fainted, I guess. Seal and faint. But what does he have on that's... Yeah, movement minus one. Like, his movement's two already. Like, look how his movement's already super, super low, too. And then I got him, give, give him movement minus one, and then there's probably something with his orbments. Maybe. No, no, nothing in his orbments. It's just that he already can't really move that well. And then I gave him something that lowers his movement even further. That's probably why he's having trouble moving around. Oh, there, I can't see a map. Dang it. Um, oh gosh, I don't know which way to go. <laughs> Fuck. No, let me out, let me out, let me out. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Let me out. Ah! <laughs> they hurt. 
The spiders are here too. Okay, there's a chest. Oh, Stinger too. Oh boy, you came back to visit me. Does that mean you're my first fan? You know what? I just noticed what time it is. It's 2.45, right? There's no way we're going to get through this place fast enough before the end of the stream. So I think I might be ending things here. Because I'm, I'm going to be going climbing today after the stream, not by a long shot. Yeah, there's no way we're getting through this place. But I think I have everyone's orbment set up like I want them to. I want a got to still be fire and, and wind. I like her being water and she has Sylvan Guard and Soul Blur. She has like some things she can do, but she's mainly just here to heal for the most part. No. Yeah. She's mainly just here to heal. If only there was a way to give her like better EP, I guess, but it's whatever. Yeah, but I, I, I like how they, they all are. But really, her... Her strength just sucks. Her strength is so low... That it's like, it's kind of pathetic. How, how low her strength is. Her ATS isn't too bad, though. Like, even though she's like lower on level, her ATS isn't too bad. If she was higher on level, her ATS would look a lot better, too. If everybody takes that much time, this is going to take one or two complete streams. I don't think it's going to take that long. Believe in me a little bit more than that, Natreg. Just a little bit more. But we can, we'll, we'll definitely finish it next stream for sure. But, I'm probably going to head out now. Um, I'll be back on uh, next Thursday, 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So, normal stream start time. I don't foresee any reason why I wouldn't be here on Thursday. Um, so we'll do Thursday and Friday stream this week. And then uh, next stream, we'll just be planning on finishing this place. And hopefully, once we finish this place, we'll be able to have Dorothy not part of our team. So we can finish up some of the side quests that we have laying around. And we can see what the hell the ghosts are. Wait, that's it? Huh? It's, I've been streaming for two, two hours and 45 minutes, but Marty... What do you mean? We literally, we finished it. We went through this. We, we finished the Sapphire Tower. We did like a bunch of side quests. We talked to all the children and everything today. And now we're here. Usually it's three. I know we're, we're coming up on three. The reason why I'm stopping now is because this place right here would be like way longer than three hours, right? So I feel like this is a good stopping point. All right, see you, Tara. Thank you for stopping by, Chelsea. It was nice seeing you again. But, okay guys, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.